All right, it is mid 90s, close to 100 outside. So I'm gonna make this a very quick video. I just wanted to show everybody real fast my strawberry bed. So if you notice, I am digging it up right now and it is actually dying. So it is the end of July right now. And if you notice, I've already pulled a multiple of them out, but all of my plants are starting to die. They're all turning brown and dying. They're just wilting and all the leaves are dying. So I was trying to figure out what the problem was. You know, strawberries are supposed to be easy to kill, but of course, you can kill anything, and I approve that here. So, I originally planted 18 strawberries, and they did very well throughout the year. I got a lot of strawberries off even of their first year berries, but then they all started to do this. They all just started to die, and I didn't know why. I didn't know if it was the sun because of how hot it is now. This doesn't have actually any shade where I'm at here. I do have trees back here, but they're not actually shading any of this bed. But then I realized, I came over here and I hadn't watered it for about a week. Um, and I came in here and stuck my hand in here. It's hard to tell on camera, but this is just still like sopping wet after not watering it for a good week. And I think I know what the issue is now. So when I did this bed, I just did um, garden soil and potting mix and a little bit of peat moss, but not much. Um, it's pretty low quality soil. I didn't put any compost in there. I put a little fertilizer in there for the strawberries, but that's basically all I did. Um, and I have very clay, clay soil here in Tennessee. So I think it's what's happening, because I actually planted this inside the ground, is that when it got watered, we had about a week or two ago, very heavy rains for a good week. Um, and I think the waters all got trapped in here. It couldn't go outside of the bed because it's in the ground. It had nowhere to leach to because it's just so clay outside of the bed. And so I think all the waters got trapped here. So I really think it, I need to change these into containers. So I started pulling them out. I put five of them in empty spots in my garden where I had lettuce and spinach where it's too hot to grow that. So that all died out. Um, and now I'm putting the rest in containers. I've already put three in containers and now I'm starting to pull the rest of these out to put in, in a container here. My container here, it's, it, this is some um, compost, it's uh, a bunch of cocoa fiber, um, and potting mix and vermiculite. So this would be a lot better quality. Um, my beds that I actually have in my garden are actually completely compost and cocoa fiber. Um, it works out a lot better, but I don't have any of that right now. Um, when I actually redo my strawberries, I'll make sure I have a lot better soil. I'm actually going to try to do a vertical garden for it next year. Or maybe actually in a few weeks, it depends on how long I want to leave these in the containers. But right now I'm going to try to bring them back to life. Um, some of them still do have a decent amount of green, so it should be a lot easier since it actually has a lot of green left. But some of them were completely dead looking, so I'm hoping that the roots will still have a chance. But, you know, just a little tip here, just make sure you have proper drainage, you know, for any type of, you know, uh, plant that you're trying to grow, you need to also always have good drainage. I think if you have soil like I do in Tennessee where it's really clay and you can't really actually use any of it, you really just want to go ahead and, you know, do raised beds like I have over here. I've got all my raised beds over here. Or put them in containers. And I do have some containers and stuff over here, um, over there on the patio. So I just dug this out with my spoon here and I just tried to get as much of this dirt off as I possibly could. Still a pretty, you know, pretty decent plant. I'm hoping that after a few weeks I'll have more green growth and it'll be able to get a better root system here before the winter comes. So I think I'm going to try to do a vertical garden for it and then I'll probably just bring it inside when it goes to uh, frost in October just to make it a little bit better, give it a little bit more of a chance. Um, so I'll do a video on that if I end up doing the vertical garden. Alright guys. This is what I got. Hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did.